Hey guys, what's up? So we're going to be looking at some more cartoon logic that makes no sense whatsoever. So this is part two of the original, so let's get on to it. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I want to work on a compilation of my gameplay videos. I will see if I can get to it. I probably won't, but anyway, let's get on to this. Spongebob, the cartoon that brings logic. So they're underwater, in an ocean. But yet, they can still set fire. There's an underwater fire in Bikini Bottom. I know, Spongebob breaks so much logic. How are they making Krabby Patties? How's the grill even working when it's not even... When there's no electricity underwater? How are they taking showers? I wonder how they're managing to get this cartoon logic like that. <laughs> yes, I know, if you guys watch the Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry, you know, from the 60s and 70s, I can, I watched Tom and Jerry, I used to watch Tom and Jerry, but only in reruns, sorry, I didn't really watch any new episodes, those all reruns, those just compilations of, like, the 60s, like, the Hanna-Barbera ones, because, you know, they're dead now, so they can't work on those MGM shorts anymore, but anyway, the first law of cartoon physics, and this does not apply to 21st century cartoons. Gravity will not work until you look down. Like, there's a cliff, and you're just like, when you're trying to get your prey, and then you just, then you just try to walk over, and then you're walking on this, on air. Come on. And the moment you look down, the exact moment, you're gonna die. Because you know, gravity will not work till you look down. Yes, I know, that's classic cartoons. 21st century cartoons are more like 3D now. If you guys want to watch the SpongeBob spin-off series Camp Coil, you guys can check that out. It's on Paramount Plus, but it will also air on Nickelodeon later on this year. It's all going to be 3D. That's the 21st century cartoons. Nothing but 3D. Why do they need a tiptoe pass when they could float in the air? <laughs> you know, the Powerpuff Girls, this is the 2016 series, but they're superheroes. They can float. The chemical X gave them powers. So why do they need a tiptoe past if they can fly? I mean, as long as they don't, like, super speed through, then they're probably not going to wake the professor. <laughs> yes, I know, this is the modern Powerpuff Girls. Blossoms, Bo was, was not like that in the 90s version of the show. Multilingual at age four, which means you can... Sp I think that's language. But when it comes to locating things next to her, she can't, she can't do it on her own. Oh no, guys, where is my phone? Have you seen my phone? In my hand? Oh, look, I found my phone. So Dora's, so Dora can speak Spanish fluently. Vamanos, si. I know no means English and Spanish. Uh, Santate. But when it comes to locating things next to her, like, there are things that are right behind her. Like, when she wants to locate things, like, right in, behind her, she's just going to casually go to the audience, like, I cannot find this location. Can you help me find this location? When clearly it's right behind her, Dora needs to just turn around and look behind her. You know, that actually is the same thing happening with the 2014 series. You know, Dora and Friends into the city. Same thing happens, but, you know... She has a map app now. She doesn't use a paper map anymore. She doesn't have a backpack. At least not, until, not before she, the episode Return to the Rainforest. Because, you know, that's the first time she went back to the rainforest. <laughs> yes, I've seen that episode. I'm, I don't watch Doran, but it's not. They don't air their own TV in the daytime. It's more nighttime stuff. Eek, a mouse. You know, <laughs> this would be funny. This is actually funny because... She, She's scared of a mouse, and the fact she's also a mouse. She <laughs> and Pluto's all. <gasps> There's a mouse in the house, but wait, isn't Minnie a mouse? That's her name, Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> but yet she's scared of a little mouse when the fact she's also one herself. I'm not just a mouse. I'm a more civilized creature, <laughs> and that mouse that pointing there is uncivilized. Needs to be getting rid of. Oh no, I cannot get out of these handcuffs. Not like I could just tilt my hands down and boom, I could just break free. Or I could just do this and I'm automatically free. Nope, I'm stuck in those cuffs for good. 
And also, guys, why would you put handcuffs on a duck? They have feathers. And besides, look look how big the cuffs are and, and his tiny hands. Like the size of the cuffs and his hands. Come on. He's going to get out of those easily. You know, modern, maybe when the creator's watching reruns of the show, he's probably going to be all, hmm, this doesn't make sense, but it's a cartoon. It's not supposed to make sense. But unless it's educational, then it's supposed to make sense. All right, there are two dogs. One can talk, and one is the pet. There's Goofy here, who has two legs and has grown to become more of a human, while Pluto is still a tiny dog. Why did you, why would you make two different kinds of dogs that can do different things? Why? I don't know, just the logic of Disney. So it's what happens when you let Disney create a TV show. They're obviously going to make it so confusing. If you guys want to create a TV show, guys, do not go to Disney. Disney will turn it into something crazy. And also, it's going to be musical. I know a lot of TV shows that music in them. High School Musical, Hannah Montana, The Suit Life of Alex and Nick. I don't know. Zach and Cody. Um, Jesse. And um, it's spinoff. I forget the I forget the spinoff. Uh, but there's a lot of TV shows on Disney that are like that. Oh, yeah. Austin Alley is probably a musical. I know a lot of Disney shows. Sorry. I'm not going to list every single Disney show created because there's too many. Bus Pass. Name. Arnold, born, yes. There is no, wait, so this, this is the first movie, it came out in 2002, and Arnold's like 10 or something. So, if logic happens like this, he's got to be born within the series, when the series was created in 1996, which means Arnold was born sometime in 1986. Since Arnold's in fifth grade, I believe. So he's got to be born in 1986. That's that's strange that they're just gonna put yes on his bus pass. Like there's what's his birthday? Uh I'm too lazy to ask Arnold what his birthday is. I'm just gonna write yes. The amount of laziness this is. This'll be an a good episode for you had one job, you know that series. SpongeBob Physics. And yes, I know SpongeBob can't breathe air. That's the part that logic exists. But yet he's he has his helmet on. Where he, he has water where he can breathe, but he can still blow bubbles. How is he able to do that? The, like, there is no open hole there. So how is SpongeBob able to blow bubbles? Hmm. Maybe the creator just decided to make things so unlogical. You know, Nickelodeon is more logical these days. Rugrats is also logical. You know, I like I like the 90s versions of Nickelodeon better. But with Spongebob, I like season 5 better than any other season. Sorry, I just like season 5. It just has the most... It has the best episodes. Stanley has Squarepants. Um, Atlantis Squarepants. Yeah, I know there's a lot of season 5 episodes. Only 20, but there's more segments than that. Lost three eggs. Sacrifice rest of species in suicidal attacks. Oh, yes. I know this one. I played the original Angry Birds. Smash that like button if you guys played the original Angry Birds, because I know a lot of you guys have. You can't buy it on iOS anymore. They've been they removed it because of compatibility problems. Like there if there's a game that was available in the App Store in 2007, do you think that modern phones are gonna have that compatibility to have that old of a game? Like, no, I didn't think so. And also guys are thinking about putting Overwatch and mobile. So I will let you, I will give you guys more info on the on the future. Let's talk about gaming episode, but not right now. But anyways, this is the original Angry Birds. Yes, I know I played I played every game I played every single level. I know it's hard to believe because I didn't do a YouTube series on this. But when I had my when my channel launched, the Angry Birds app was removed from the App Store, so I couldn't do it at the time. I mean, I probably can get it back on i on Android. But no, I didn't have an Android then. I had iPhone. iPhone SE, the first gen, I think. Not the not the current iPhone SE, but no, it's the original. But guys, every Angry Birds, you know, every Angry every episode in the Angry Birds original one, they're just it all every episode starts 
with them losing their eggs and the piggy's gum. And then they start killing themselves because they lost their eggs. Not like they could just make more. They made those three eggs already. Why can't they just make more of them? I mean, they're just encouraging the piggies to do it. You know, have, killing yourselves over eggs. Come on. Their egg, your, eggies haven't, your eggs haven't even been born yet. I'd say let them have the eggs. I mean, you could make more. You are birds after all. You can't just fly over there. You're flightless birds. Except yellow, I think. So, do they have hair or not? Nope, I don't think they had hair. If you guys watch The Simpsons, I don't watch it anymore. They're going to end it eventually. They should end The Simpsons eventually. The later seasons are, like, awful now compared to the earlier seasons. But anyway, let's get back to this. So, did they have hair or not? No, they didn't. They just had weirdly shaped skulls that looked like hair. So, no, they didn't have hair. But wait, Bart was able to comb his hair. So, it doesn't mean he has hair or is it because he has a weirdly shaped skull? I don't know, guys. Comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Everybody loves Scooby Doo. Yes, Scooby Doo. Guess who the current incarnation of the series? But they've amassed hundreds of phonies, like hundreds, in the original series and um, Mystery Inc., which is 2010s. Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo. But they're still they're still afraid of monsters. Like they've amassed hundreds of phonies. Like, they're all fake, but they're still afraid of monsters. And why is Shaggy and Scooby more interested in eating than solving mysteries? No, guys, Shaggy is not on drugs. There's proof online that there isn't. If you search up, is Shaggy on doing drugs? What, look, the voice of Shaggy, I think it's, I think his, his original voice was Casey Cassim. He told, he'll tell you that, no, he would not be on drugs. It wouldn't be a good a good thing to do, because Scooby Doo is aimed at a younger audience. And besides, the last airing on local TV was Kids Warner Bros. from two thousand six to two thousand eight, I think. But anyway, guys, let's get on to the next one. Oh no, I'm drowning, and I'm under in an underwater beach. Like Patrick Star, you are underwater. Like you can breathe water. So why are you drowning in an underwater beach? And why is the water underwater anyway? Why did they decide to put seawater inside an ocean? It doesn't make sense. Like, they're drowning. Like, like Patrick is drowning in the water, but yet he is underwater himself. So why is he drowning in an underwater beach? And he's a sea creature anyway, so it doesn't matter if he drowns because he can breathe water. So why would this be a problem now? Why are they making it like that? I don't know. Oh, do you want to make it obvious the two characters are married? Yes, we make them look like brother and sister. <laughs> yep, and it kind of looks similar. They do look like brother and sister. <laughs> Moore and Muriel, like, they both have the same kind of glasses, same kind of teeth, same hairstyle, except one has boobs. They kind of do look like the same. Why, why would you want to make it obvious that they're married? If you want to make it obvious that they're married, just put a wedding ring on, on them. Don't make them look like brother and sister. That's just, like, awful. Oh, no, Tom and Jerry. They're naked all day. Like, they hardly wear clothes whatsoever. But, yeah, when they go to the beach, they're wearing clothes. That's completely unlogical. But, anyway, guys, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, I will be doing more reactions coming soon. If you guys want to enjoy this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'm also going to update my website. And anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Adios.